Welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy, a channel that puts out cutting edge audio engineering content. If you would like to learn more about audio engineering, head over to the description and sign up for the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. Also, click the subscribe button. Let's jump into this next video. Hey guys, this next one is going to be non-vocal related. This is going to be about mixing sampled drums like a pro. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate that. So these drums I'm going to show you how to mix are this particular song is it's drums that sound like real drums. So they're sampled real drums, not like a drum sampler so but you'll notice that even though they're uh, sampled real drums with samples you don't always need to compress that much because it's just a sample there's not much there's not really any dynamic stuff too much going on so at least with this All right, let's listen uh, to this kick before I did anything to it. Not bad. It's a nice sounding kick. But you hear that punch that came out? So what I did was ducked a little bit of 150. It's kind of like a lower mid upper lows that cleaned it up a little bit and then I'm just compressing with a slow attack just to give it that put that that like that thud sound something a compressor does with a slow attack with a kick drum that really makes it smack and just punch through the mix listen without and with It does something nice. It does something nice for sure. And then the EQ. Um, I'm using this SSL and I'm dividing 290 divided by 3. So a little under 100 hertz. I'm boosting like a 1.5 dB. Kind of narrow. Another thing you can do with sample drums is add some saturation. So let's, I'm going to bring out the Sheps. Very subtle, but it just kind of added some some warmth to it. And as you saw, when I boosted this saturation, I had to adjust the you know input or output and make sure it's not clipping. Uh, 
um, keep in mind too when you're when you're putting together drums like this, you want to get some room sounds too. So I got a, a room sample right here. I'll show you what it sounds like. Hear the room, kick room. I'll mute it. It really opens it up. It opens it up a lot. And to be honest, you don't even have to do much half the time to uh, a room sound. If you want to compress it some to make it a little more, you know, squashed sounding, you can. You know, we could play with that. But it's not 100% necessary. Yeah, it's a similar sound. This is just a makes the room sound a little more exciting so that it can work. Yeah, it just livens it up a little bit. So oh, compressing the room nice and hard can be cool. Perfect Vocals Academy presents the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. Do you want to become a profitable audio engineer? This course includes a PVA sound treatment ebook, 15 in depth videos, as well as worksheets for each video. Bonus video How to Profit as an Up and Coming Audio Engineer, and a bonus Pro Tools template using Waves plugins is also included. Okay, this snare drum already sounded really good, but there's something about adding some 200 hertz to a snare drum that just makes it so fat and cut through the mix. Here's without the 200 hertz. It's a small, small amount of thickness that happened. Okay, one thing we can do is see where this kick is hitting that's near the, near the snare drum. Okay, so 150. The kick has a lot of 150. So let's try ducking out a little bit of 150 in the snare. with a very narrow cue. Now we can probably push that 200 a little more. here without these EQs. Yeah, it just brings the snare forward. We could do the same thing with that snare room. Compress. Just tightens up that room.
Okay, let's move on to some overheads. You can hear some kind of boxiness. No, that's in the crash, sorry. Listen to those crashes before. Just taking up too much space. That's where, like, guitars and stuff need to sit. Let's bring in the guitars and stuff. I don't want to mix and solo too much. Let's mix this hi-hat. Uh, saturation on a hi-hat goes a long way. Okay, so I darkened up the hi-hat some. I rolled off about to about 14K. Um, if it was like a sampled, like a trap hi-hat and a beat, I, I could go as low as like maybe 4K, 5K, 6K for a uh, pretty dark sounding, nice sounding hi-hat. But this is like a real hi-hat, so you don't want to roll off too much. And then... Cutting some high mids. And that saturation really kind of brings some character out of the hi-hat. Yeah, that's about it, guys. So those tips I showed you, that's how I would mix um, sample drums. And... Those little things really can add up to make it sound a lot more punchy. The compression on the room, the slight uh, compression on the kick with a slow attack to make it punchy, adding that fatness in the snare with 200 hertz, darkening the hi-hat, bringing out some character in the hi-hat with some saturation, uh, cutting the boxiness out of the cymbals. All these things can, can really bring your drums to sound really cool, so... Um, uh, guys, check out the vocal mixing masterclass link in the description, get the free mini course link in the description, join my Facebook group in the description, and I will see you guys next, uh, next time.